Hello YouTube, Odyssey checking in. Today we have a tutorial video for the end of the year. Last video of the year today and this is for the new Firefox Quantum. Firefox Quantum is a recent update um, delivered by, by Mozilla. Um, this update is supposed to have a, a new engine and speed up all of the uh, all of the browsing experience and make it seamless for the user. Unfortunately, by doing this, a lot of the previous extensions that w were our favorites, our beloved extensions on Firefox are gone. Several of them are no longer compatible and one of those extensions is the multi-row bookmarks toolbar. Mm -hmm. Now, um, a lot of users just went to uh, have their Firefox set up to make uh, automatic updates and well with this recent uh, update force upon them when they open their Firefox it just look plain so empty I don't know it looks it looks weird to my taste so um, actually I have already that uh, downloaded that update I think I, there was an ado another one that downloaded last night if I'm not mistaken and I was hoping that it could address a multi-row uh, bookmark toolbar, unfortunately it didn't. It still looks like this. Now, um, what we have is this funny arrow, but that's not not useful for people like me, people like you. There used to be an add-on called a multi-row toolbar, but the developers just uh, mentioned that they will not be giving any more support with Quantum because it doesn't allow them to change uh, the looks of the new browser. So we're pretty much on our own. Um, what one of the things we can do is to delete the names as always and just use the icons to guide for uh, to to guide us on our bookmarks. But if we have more than 20, it becomes a icon clock face uh, over there. So here's what we're gonna do. There is a file in the description that contains a text. Please download it right now. It's a very, very small text file. Once you have it downloaded, please open it and keep it open over there. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it in a few moments. Okay? And we're back. Now, first thing you're going to do is go to the Options menu and go to the Help button. Then you want to select the Troubleshooting Information and you're going to have this page. Next to Profile Folder, there is a button that says Open Folder. Click on it, please. And you're going to get a, a Windows Explorer. Now, on this window, we need to create one folder that doesn't exist yet. And all look at the irony of this. The new folder we have to create is going to be called Chrome. So you select the option to create a new folder, enter the name Chrome, hit enter. Now hit enter again and you're going to be inside the folder. Since this is a new folder, it's going to be empty. Now we need to create a new text file. So make a right click on it, go to the new option in your browser, wherever it is, and select text document. Now here's the thing. We're going to rename this text document to user chrome dot css beer be very careful with that dot. We're deleting the TXT part and changing it for CSS. Now, if for some reason you cannot see the dot TXT part on this file, this is what you need to do. You need to press the Alt key on your keyboard, and that's going to display additional options on the window, just like this. Now, click in Tools. I'm sorry. Click on Tools and go to the Folder Options section. In the folder option, we're going to go to view and make sure that this little checkbox is empty. Then click on OK. Now we're going to make another right click on the file we just created and click on edit. And yep, you probably already figured it out. We're going to copy the content from the file from the description into this one. So here we have it. We're going to grab it, put it over here, copy paste and we're going to save our changes 
And now you can close this, close the txt file, you can close this, and you can close Firefox as well. Now, behold the magic. There we go, we're back in business. Now, it is unclear if Firefox is going to release this functionality again so that somebody can make an add-on. For the moment, this is the only solution I have found to get what I have on the previous version. Most of my other add-ons have newer versions that can be installed on Quantum. And I have to agree, the browsing speed is definitely better. The old Firefox, the more add-ons you have, the more sluggish you will get. So, that's it. We have our multi-role bookmark toolbar back. Feels like home. Uh, well, this is the last video of the year, gamers. Um, I hope it helps you to start your happy browsing new year in a few hours. Uh, on my end, remember that if you like this video, to like this video and hit the subscribe button to give me a hand. And speaking about helping, I just started a new Patreon page you can find over here. Uh, mostly because, uh, as you know, I always use resources, graphical resources, to help uh, make my my more complex troubleshooting videos a little easier to understand. And with the new changes on YouTube, they don't allow me to monetize some of those videos anymore. So I'm going out straight for Patreon. I'm gonna leave uh, <coughs> the YouTube monetization feature, let them have their money. Uh, here on Patreon, uh, please take a look at the rewards I have selected. I, I'm pretty sure that you like a few of them. And well, gamers, this is Odyssey checking out. Thank you for watching this video. See you the next year.